Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Happy Friday to you, Storm Tracker 7 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. Hopefully you had a chance rather to get out there and enjoy some of the weather because it was beautiful out there today. It started off very cold. A lot of us started off with some frost, but well, we warmed up in a hurry. We got up to 68 degrees uh, right now. We hit the upper 60s, low 70s across the area. Dew points still though in the low range, 38 degrees. So it's very dry out there. If you're going to the games with this dry air, temperatures fall pretty quickly as we head past sunset. So if you're going to head to any of those games, I would make sure that you grab a jacket or uh, a light layer, perhaps something, a long sleeve shirt, something along those lines. But you can see 7 o'clock right around kickoff, 65 degrees. Halftime about 58. By the time we're uh, driving home from those games, temperatures are going to be in the mid 50s, and there are some spots rather that could be into the low in the mid 50s, so get ready for that. Here's what's going on on the satellite and radar imagery. Nothing. Looking pretty good out there. As we widen out, you can see not a whole lot happening. A little bit of cloud cover off to the northwest of us, but really not all that bad. We've been dealing with this nice cool air mass, this dry air mass that's been sitting on top of us over the last few days, and it looks like we are going to continue to see at least the dry weather for another couple of days, but we're going to start to see a bit of a change in the weather pattern by the end of the weekend. One thing we've been dealing with is those cool nights. It won't be quite as chilly out there tonight, and it does look like our highs are going to be a little higher on both Saturday and Sunday than they have been. And as a result, as we start to warm up a little bit, ragweed levels will come up just a little bit, but then the next big cool down will get here by the time we get to Monday. That's going to knock those pollen levels down considerably. We continue to see this Pleasant pattern thanks to high pressure, our fair weather friend sitting on top of us. Basically, this is stable sinking air. When you have these big blue H's on top of you, you look up in the sky most of the time and you see lots of blue sky, but we are going to be seeing some changes as we're tracking the next weather system. The next weather maker looks like it's going to be getting here. The storm track right now uh, tomorrow morning is going to be basically moving across the northern portion of the U.S arriving into the upper Midwest by the afternoon. And then as we get into the evening, it starts to shift closer to us. So rain's going to start moving into the Great Lakes along the storm track by tomorrow evening. And then this is actually going to kind of drop over us and we're going to be getting some air, some rain as we head through the late morning into the early afternoon with a few lingering showers, maybe a few storms later in the day with that. But then again, as we continue to see the storm track push closer to us, another batch of moisture will be approaching late in the day and out behind that batch. That's when we really get the cool down. But here's what it looks like on your Storm Tracker 7 predictor. Tonight, looking great. You can see 10 o'clock, clear skies. We head through the overnight hours. We start off with a lot of sunshine. Those clouds start to roll in through the morning tomorrow. Not going to be terribly bad, but we'll call it sunny to partly cloudy throughout the day. We're staying dry, though. You can see and we clear out a little bit late tomorrow night. Then we start to track the chance for some showers, even a few rumbles of thunder early on Sunday with a few showers and maybe a rumble of thunder lingering into the afternoon. 48 is the low tonight. Back up to 73 tomorrow, though, with lots of sunshine. Ooh, it looks like a great time to go down to the game if you're going to be uh, headed down to go see WVU or just get outside. Maybe head to Ogilvy Park. Really nice out there. Uh, rain likely on Sunday. A little breezier both Sunday and Monday. Some spotty showers will linger on into Monday, but you can see 77 on Sunday. Much cooler by Monday. Tuesday, a couple of spotty showers. Wednesday, we're still in the 50s. Same story on Thursday. We start to warm up a little bit, though, as we head towards Thursday and Friday. But yeah, get ready for some cool weather.